okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video so in this video i want to cover few things about uh, http and uh, web services okay so in this uh, current technological world uh, http and web services are very much used in uh, any applications right uh, so it's important for us to know uh, even though we work on ibm or as 400 right so we want to know what is this http and uh, web services and rest api things and uh, how can we use those things in our uh, ibm as well okay so with that context in mind i'm going to just explain uh, what is happening on the web right uh, with this http uh, protocol right so what is happening when you are entering a website on a browser or when somebody is talking about uh, rest apis what do they actually mean and how does it actually works in the system so that we are going to see uh, first we will see uh, one by one example of what is what then we will try to simulate each and everything with the uh, node.js package called express okay okay first uh, we all know html is hypertext markup language and http is hypertext transfer protocol right so http is actually the protocol uh, which is normally used to transfer the hypertext data so which is nothing but your web page right so if you're going anywhere right so maybe you are typing a website and pressing enter so what's happening is actually uh, this browser is a client and it is requesting a server to get some data okay so a browser normally supports only the uh, get protocol okay which is what uh, we are seeing here get so it tries to get the data from the server and displays you in the browser so if you want to know what what is this request and what is the response it got uh, we can do like this so if you press f12 right it go to network tab and if you refresh again so basically this is what happening so it's trying to send this re request called uh, uh, http example.com and it's a get method and it is returning back out output with the status code of 200 and if you see below there are some uh, response headers and then request headers we'll see this uh, in later part of the video and if you see what is the response actually the response is this one okay basically it's uh, some data but it's in the form of html that's why you are seeing that in the browser as a uh, uh, earth page okay if it is not a html instead of it's, a, it's a just a date uh, it's a plain text or a it's a json it, or a xml then you will see that actual data in the browser so this also we will see in the example so this is the get right so normally uh, similar to that we have this post put and delete right so those are for its own purpose so post normally will use if you want to uh, submit some data to the server right so here we are not submitting any data uh, here we are just trying to get the data and displaying it uh, but on the other hand right post will try to submit some data and using the data will expect the server to do some action either update a database okay and create a new record in the database or update the existing record like that but with the get right normally the server we are expecting not to touch anything uh, on on the database on the creation side okay maybe to hit the database and then try to get you some data but it won't update or anything so normally get is used as a safer uh, protocol among the all the three all the four protocols okay now uh, we'll see this in the example so what i'm going to do now i have a folder here uh, where is that okay here is tdp examples okay so this folder is a plain folder as of now oh sorry okay fine what i'm going to do i'm going to say npm okay i have installed node.js in my system maybe you can install node.js in your system uh, then you can issue a command npm okay in it so it will ask you a couple of question okay i'm going to say enter 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 the entry point is app.js okay and enter for all the remaining things okay now there is a file called package that JSON is created okay so we don't need to worry about that as of now next what we are going to do we're going to install the express package here so npm install express so this will install this express in our uh, this particular folder so the express is actually used to create a web server in our laptop okay next so here if you see right this example.com is actually a server uh, basically it will have ip associated with that so if you copy this one and maybe paste it here right uh, ping www.example.com i'll try to get ip address so this is the ip address of the server and they are they have mapped the host name okay dsn name as example.com with this so that's why that 
particular server 93.184.216.34 is giving us the data and we are displaying it on the browser now if you want to make my pc as a web server right uh, i should have my own ip and uh, and that should my laptop should serve something if i request something right so that's what we're going to see here fine so i have installed this right so now what we have to do uh, we need to create app.js okay and uh, okay here is the app.js so first const uh, express equals to require express okay then const app equal to express so this is uh, a syntax of initializing the express uh, module okay then what we can do we can do app dot listen the port we want to listen 2000 okay then it takes a function okay it's javascript uh, code okay so no need to worry as of now so here console dot log server started right uh, save and here between these two right we can have uh, the protocol so app dot get this is how we call and we want to see what is the url we want to see and it's a second argument is actually a function which accepts request and response to variables and then here we can basically say like something like response dot send hello so this is our code okay and if you want to run this code right what we can do we can simply say node app so see server started so if you go to our browser and then say localhost 3000 we'll get hello okay so now what we have seen again it's a get request okay if you if you see here uh, in the network tab if you do the this thing uh, okay right. i say hello world save and see if i save it right i need to restart the server because the server doesn't know that i have changed it so for that we have another method uh, right, um, npm install node mon hyphen d so node mon is a package it will keep monitoring our uh, file if any changes happen it will reload it so it will be easy when we are like developing something okay okay so now what we are going to see uh, when we do the refresh right what is happening again it's sending the uh, get request okay but it's sending to our local host and then getting some response okay so here you, you are saying 304 is actually uh, if the response is not modified from our last uh, response then it sends 304 from the system the browser cache actually okay now we have changed it to hello to hello world right so now if we just start it using node mon now you see it's constantly watching and if i do a refresh now you can see it's a 200 response okay and if it's the preview this is a data we are responding fine now this is okay now we are making our laptop into a web server and we are trying to simulate the get functionality right but now let's see uh, for example in this case we're gonna uh, in the real world right what's gonna happen so we can we may have a rest full api which means uh, i need to expose my data as a web service right so we can get something uh, in the url here say for example slash students like that okay now i should return back the students data like that so in that case basically in your uh, this routine uh, you will access the database and then get the data and then you respond it okay so here if you want to simulate that right what i can do like uh, uh, let students equal to okay assume i have uh, some array of students okay and here i say something like name okay and i have another student called uh, and this is the student and here instead of send what i can do i can simply say like uh, uh, maybe i can create a new endpoint so app dot get student students this will take a request and response and uh, response dot we have another method called json which, which will send the response in a json format save and if we come to here and then say students enter right uh, we get the data here right so this is how it will happen 
um now assume i have something like uh, number okay and i want to access this number in my uh, backend right so for that what basically we can do uh, we can again simulate the same stuff right and here you can see like this so basically you, uh, you can give a variable name uh, after the path and you can get this particular name uh, console.log right uh, so this id will be available in the url uh, that we can get using request.params.id okay now let's see if this is working there is no error okay if you press enter if you come to console log you can see the one came okay because we are consoling log that particular data okay so this is with respect to get okay let's go back to the post method so uh, before that right uh, we can also display the if you have a bigger uh, uh, html file right you no need to write everything in this right so okay so before that right so here it's also support html so if i see the hello world in a markup and save it right and if i go to students i should get it in h1 tag right but if you want a bigger uh, markup what we can do is something like this so uh, we can uh, create a file basically here create a new file okay and assume it's html okay so it can be html file actually i maybe i can copy paste one file here Okay, let it be no problem. Save. Okay, so this is ask me. I'm giving some name. Save. Okay, so now this is saved in my uh, folder. Okay, what I can give here instead of send, I can just say send file. Okay, here I can give the file name. But the only point is here we have to give the full uh, file name. Okay, full path of the file name. So that we can get using uh, path dot join underscore underscore dear name comma uh, index dot html okay save this underscore underscore dear name will give me the current directory of this app.js file and i'm just adding index.js after that okay uh, so if you go and then do the reload the page uh, path is not defined because we need to import it path equal to require path save reload we got it so this is the data coming from this index.html file okay that's cool so now let's think about the uh, post okay so post is nothing but uh, if you see any forms right in the web page that supports uh, de submitting the data into the server right so maybe you can have a login id like user id password and when you click login the data is going back to the server and then checking whether the user id and password are correct then it is allowing you to go inside this is one type of post request but here we are not adding anything to the database right we are just validating it but again it comes with a post right at the same time there could be something like uh, creating a new task creating a new uh, blog like that okay those things are getting added into the database so even that is called a post so uh, let's see how these two things works with the post okay uh, now in this selector html i have a form and a form tag is a html tag which supports which has like method called uh, get or post we can use okay and we can give action so action is actually the url which is go which, which it's going okay maybe here i can change to search okay and uh, here i have uh, uh, input and with the property called name uh, i give a name value here so when we submit something right we will type in the okay let me save this one if i go here okay here, assume you are typing something okay how we will receive this value when we submit this particular data okay this take uh, input box will be having a property called name and we said the name is id then the value one two three will be available in the uh, id variable okay the the id we will be receiving in our backend server using some uh, inbuilt methods Th that we'll see now okay now what we have here so we have a html page and it's having a input box and then if we submit 
we are telling please go to the search URL with the post method okay first we will see what we will do if it is a get method okay if you are not having this method uh, thing then default is get okay let's have a get method and we are saying uh, get the student with the id like that okay i'm going to save this one and if i go here say for example reload this page if i submit i don't want this okay if i do something and then submit you can see it is going to the url slash search question mark id so this also you might have seen in many uh, things even ex explicitly in google right if you go to google oh, oh, oh. okay so here you can see i search g over right here you can see question mark q is equal to g over and some other things so this we called as query parameter okay uh, use this is another way of submitting the data to the server so uh, yeah form with the method of get is actually the query parameter okay form with the method of post is actually the another way of submitting that we'll see the next time okay now uh, let's see how to receive this query parameter uh, okay so let's go here and uh, in app.js currently it says that uh, it is not able to find this slash search because we have not coded that one okay now what we're gonna do app dot post search okay and this will take uh, request and response and here if you if you want to get that value right so uh, request dot uh, query let's try to print this one console dot log request dot query and we need to send something right so uh, response dot uh, send uh, search worked something okay let's see what happens so if we refresh here let's see in the log okay okay it's trying for get not post uh, it's my mistake okay fine so let us change to get save reload okay search worked so if you go here we see the id one two three because it's coming from here okay if we change it to four 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 and then press enter and we'll see id four 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 coming in all right so this is how the web server is parsing the data which is coming in the url and then doing its own work so once you got this value you can do your uh, backend logic and then respond uh, again with the data we want okay now let's see the actual post how it works okay so for uh, for post right the data will be coming inside the uh, form okay so say for example uh, okay let us quickly change it to post okay save it and uh, if you come to the base url and if it types the same one two three and submit okay here you can see it is going for a post search but there is no argument passed right so then where is the actual argument so it's available inside the data okay that it's not visible in the front end so that's why the post normally will use for like form validation those things like because it has your user id and password so that we don't want to pass it in the plain url right but if in, the, in case of google search whatever you're searching is right it will be passed as a uh, argument to the query parameter itself okay uh, fine so now where does this value went when we submit a post request right so to get that what we need to do we need to have a request dot body then we get the value like how we have currently here request dot query right like that we can have request dot body but the only thing is it is not straightforward we need to have one more package uh, let me quickly install that one so npm install body parser so this particular package will help us to easily get the data from the body okay so once it is received what we should do here go here const const body parser equal to require body parser and we just need to add two lines of code you can quickly add this one okay so now what will happen let's code for the post app dot post uh, search same uh, url path so request dot response 
so here I can say console.log request.body this dot send uh, post work okay I'm saving this one and I'm starting the server and I'm going here now if I refresh it right it will ask you confirm submission so you might have seen this in many forms right when you refresh it it will ask you confirm uh, resubmission because it is hold it is not just give uh, uh, it is not just uh, making the request it's also submitting some data okay if I say continue uh, okay see it says post worked if you come here now I see I got the data ID 1 2 3 right so this is how the web servers are handling the post request okay then whatever the data I have received uh, in my program I can do the logic whatever you want I can update into the database and then send back the details like that so yeah so this is how it things works okay and uh, we also have other things like app dot put and app dot delete those works in the same way okay so we can just uh, do like app dot get app dot put or app dot delete and uh, when we call the request with that particular method it reaches this particular uh, routine or the function okay so this is pretty much what i want to cover right so uh, with in addition to that we also have few things like request headers and then response which i have already talked about right uh, so if you come down we also have something like uh, if i refresh this one right okay so here we have this kind of response headers and request headers so this also uh, will be used very much um, basically it tells what is this request is all about okay and in some cases say for example you have a url and you don't want to give this access to uh, all the people right you want to give access only to the specific people then what you will do you will give a request header okay and whatever the name you want and then you will give some access token okay and here inside the program okay uh, so maybe i'll demonstrate this one okay it'll be interesting one okay assume currently we have some list of headers coming in okay uh, i'll do with the simple students one so here if i say console dot log request dot headers right so if i save this and then go to my base url enter i get the data that's not a big deal but here in the console log i got some list of where is it okay okay i i did first start slash students okay okay slash students okay so here if we come here i got this list of request dot headers so these are some default headers so this you can also see it here okay this is the request headers now assume i want to add my own headers okay what i can do uh, i'm going to use postman for this because from the chrome we cannot add our own headers but if you are having a program which is invoking this particular uh, get request then you can add your own uh, headers okay so here in the get uh, students i'm going to say uh, a header called uh, my header okay my value okay if i just send this one i get the same result but if you come to my log now i got this my header my value right so this is my custom header now what you can do you can have uh, your own uh, like headers like say for example uh, api key okay and then one two three four five so this value you will give only to the people who uh, you want access okay when you send this one right obviously this api key will be available in your uh, uh, request and when it reaches to particular uh, here right so you will process it only if the uh, token is valid right so the in that way we can do the authentication as well okay this is a, some methods of authentication okay apart from that we have many other like a jwt authentication and then uh, few more uh, OAuth 2 level authentication okay so I don't want to go detail into it because I'm just learning those things also so basic on uh, the bottom line is okay so when you see uh, someone talked about their restful uh, URL or rest APIs or uh, these HTTP methods right those are simply uh, HTTP methods over the web right so this is pretty much of what we have just seen is happening in the world and if you are having our database 
you can take a IBM database of uh, DB2 right if you are if you are running this node.js on your AS400 and uh, if you want to expose your data as a web service that is pretty much possible okay so maybe I can give a link in the description uh, which is which I have made few weeks before okay you can see how uh, the physical file data uh, we can expose it in the web as a web service okay so that's the end of this video i want to cover these four basic HTTP methods i hope this helps uh, i think it's kind of long video but anyway it's okay uh, maybe i'll cover in the next video with a different concept of maybe i'm thinking about uh, no sql mongodb or uh, some other uh, front end application or something interesting in our uh, IBM itself okay uh, I'm not sure but I'll keep you posted anyway thanks for watching